Hello and welcome to HITC Sports. Football fans are great, aren't they? I realize actually that I'm speaking about them as if they're extraterrestrials. Me, I am one, you are one, we're all football fans, but some of them are a bit, well, slightly off kilter, shall we say. I have to be careful with my wording in this video. But that's the great thing about them. Is great the right word? Let's take a look at every Premier League club's most, uh, well, eccentric fans. Arsenal. <laughs> Bournemouth. In the politically fraught world we live in, where there's justice campaigns coming out of people's noses left, right, and center, like the Me Too hashtag, Black Lives Matter, the rage against Harvey Weinstein, and of course the clampdown on school shootings in America, then there's this fella leading a one man party, Justice for Mings, uh, after the Bournemouth center half was banned for stamping on someone's head. Now, where I come from, if you jump on somebody's skull, you'll be doing well if you don't spend the night in the fing cells. Mings, on the other hand, after using Zlatan's head as a slip and slide, got a five match ban, did not stop old man Pete from typing together some bandy banner. Not sure why he thinks the letter I stops being capitalized when all the others clearly aren't. But then I'm not going to question the logic of a man who uses hashtags on a cardboard cutout. Brighton. Alright, so this clip was taken during a Crystal Palace versus Brighton game this season. Look, how old are these people? It's a game! It's a game! A bunch of Brighton fans on the train, so obviously they see football fans on the other side of the gate. So of course they're gonna revert back to primates on day release from the zoo, about six beers away from slinging their own shit out the train window. It's a bit like when you bring your dog to the vets and they just see other dogs and suddenly, oh it's World War 3 for no reason. We're Brighton! We're Brighton! We're Brighton you f***ing idiot! <gasps> oh. <laughs> Yeah, the Brighton fans on the train were barking at their own fans. I love how the entire train goes quiet once they realize they have f***ed this. Except for this one old fellow who's still going for it. Why can't they all just love each other and just talk about how much they love Glen Murray? Burnley. Fan Sue's club after being hit by ball. Are you taking the piss? Right, well this is a new one. And by new one, of course, I mean old one. October 2005, I'm going back for this. I'm sorry, Burnley fans, but you're not interesting in the slightest. Unless you want me to pull up a clip from the Inbetweeners movie, but, but I will not insult your intelligence. So yeah, let's go retro. Back to the days when most of you were just a piece of spunk resting in your dad's left bollock. And Conor McGregor was fixing half of Dublin's toilets, instead of trying to destroy buses. 13 years ago, a Burnley fan got up at halftime to go and, I don't know, get a pizza or something. The ball hit her straight in the face. She has a bit of blurred vision for a while. But considering she would have been forced to watch Kyle Lafferty and Ade Akambayi, I mean, that's probably not a bad thing. She goes to the doctor, he tells her that she hasn't suffered any permanent damage, and she still decides to sue the club. Chelsea. And you lot, who left in the 75th minute, you should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed. Where I sat, there was no sound anymore, because you lot had a Phone. Probably because everyone was terrified you were a f***ing mental case. You do your jobs as well, you support your team. If you're not going to do that, don't come to Chelsea Football Club, alright? Imagine if this fella caught you sneaking out of his birthday party as a kid. He'd probably flush your hamster down the toilet. Crystal Palace. Remember Frank De Boer? Remember how god awfully woeful he was at Crystal Palace? What was it, about four games, no goals, kicked out the door before he could learn the tea lady's name? Well, this was the Crystal Palace fan reaction when he signed. I remember being over the moon when a point is Holloway. Really? To appoint someone like the board just five years on is mental. Exciting times. <laughs> Welcome, Frank the Boar. Buzzing. Oh, oh, oh God. This is like when that city fan got a tattoo of Kaka 20 minutes before it all went to shit. Champions League bound. Oh, make it stop. I don't know if I'm happy with the Boar or just happy we haven't ended up with someone like Hodgson. Does anyone want to check on that guy? Everton. I wrote the greatest song in the history of football songs, Kathleen. It's going to take the permanent ship by storm, Kathleen. Dad? I wrote it out of my own melody, pure and true, Kathleen. Is it for Everton? It is for Everton, of course it is. Who else would you write a song for? Listen here, Kathleen. Allardyce. Du, 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 du. Oh, Sam Allardyce. Du, um, du, 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 du. 
I... Oh, we've got Rooney! Oh, oh for f sake! Huddersfield. <laughs> As we can see, this is a Huddersfield fan who, judging by the soundtrack, sounds less like Mr. DT and more like Celestia Vega. Whip it in! Oh! <laughs> no way! Get it in the box! Oh. oh. Is, is, like, is this the way we're going, like, as a society? Like, I, I worry, like, I genuinely worry about the people who film themselves for an entire game at a football match. Like, is this the way forward? Like, what next? We're going to be bringing selfie sticks into funeral parlors, filming ourselves on the way to f***ing Tesco? Are we going to be filming ourselves in bed? Like, it just seems so disingenuous. Like, you're emotionally invested in the game, but still, like, who wants to see Ron Weasley's cousin shoving a camera up his nose for 90 minutes? We've been all over Newcastle, all over in the second half. Leicester City. Leicester City fan cashes out £72,000 on Premier League bet. Now you might think taking home £72,000 after placing a £50 bet on Leicester to win the league at the start of the season a couple of years ago. Insane. Take the money and run. Buy yourself a set of gold teeth, whatever. But if this guy had just lasted 12 more games, he'd have taken home a quarter of a million pounds from a 50 pound bet now i don't know what possessed this man to put 50 pounds on danny simpson and wes morgan to win the league in the first place like was he drunk or is he just mentally insane but cashing out in march oh you, you really have to feel for him oh. liverpool Salah. Money, money. But that don't matter at all, actually, because we got Salah. Aha, money, money, do 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 do. And Bobby for me, oh. But we so cool, teeny, oh. Man City. I didn't want him in the first place, and I don't want him in the second place. If he doesn't want to change his attitude and his philosophy, and he said he'll go back home, let him go back home. Right. Up your work ethic, get Pep out, you heard it here That's from it. Len. Not sure why Aaron Ramsey was interviewing all lads outside Man City. But sure, I suppose he's got to fill his time other than scoring worldies, ruining his hair and romancing the sheep. Got to stop taking shots at the Welsh. I love ye really, alright? But ye probably f***ing hate me. Man United. Next. Newcastle. How was it for you? Oh my f***. In ears. All right, p headphone users. Oh, the light. Wow! One nil. I was saying, start the game. Start Perez. Best player we've got. If I always say Perez is your best player, oh good lord. Signed and sealed, Stevie Wonder. I cannot say. Oh, wow! Yep, yeah, this fella definitely had too many blue smarties that day. <laughs> Jesus Christ, probably the biggest overreaction to a 1-0 win over Huddersfield Town I've ever seen in my life. In all seriousness. In all seriousness. After that, you don't get to say in all seriousness after three minutes of acting like Russell Brand on acid. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Are you alright, lad? He sounds like a f***ing dog in heat. Southampton. For Southampton, I couldn't really find any eccentric supporters. Mostly just ones who've given up on life itself. Although Mauricio Pellegrino was coming under such fire recently that he even had a 12-year-old girl send him a letter telling him where he was going around. Fair play to her. It is your job to encourage them as us fans are tired of seeing them unmotivated and not wanting to win. Instead of us wasting our money on random players nobody has ever heard of. Hey, you leave Alex McCarthy out of this. We need to spend it on players we know are good. After reading this, I would like a reply and to see an improvement. <laughs> fair, you know what? Fair play to that girl. Fair, fair play. P.S. If I played with the same attitude as some of these players, I would be subbed. Well, if a manager had to resort to fielding a 12-year-old girl up front instead of Shane Long, then pretty sure the entire football club would be close to being closed down. Stoke City. Remember that Stoke Liverpool game last season where we could barely see what was going out on the pitch when Roberto Firmino scored? The pitch was covered in a red crimson fog. It was it was like something out of a Kanye West music video. Or at least that's how this fella sees it. I used to respect Liverpool, but I'm walking away from here today thinking those flares physically changed that game. We could not see that ball behind the goal. Really? That affected the players. This was the Firmino goal. 
Do you see the red mist? I see no red mist. When Firmino hit that bullet of a shot, yeah. mate, the, the, the red mist was still there. You have some explaining to do, lad, and I'm not just talking about the beard. Swansea City. I've been a Swansea supporter all my life, but to all you Liverpool fans out there, I've been singing your song, this is our version. Where the fuck was Salah? Da 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 da. Where the fuck was Mane? Da 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 da. You should have kept Coutinho. But you lumber with Romania. To all you Swansea fans out there, send it viral to all them Liverpool fans. Up the swans. Tottenham. Said you just got Kane. 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 <laughs> Moving on. Watford. Marco Silva obviously linked with the Everton job. How good is he? Very good. Best manager I've seen in years. He's gutted if he goes. He can get a job better than Everton. Class manager. Watford on, oh, lads. I actually interviewed these Watford fans back in November. Uh, great fellas, but... Uh, oh. God, it did not work out for them, did it? We ain't, we ain't gonna get rid of him, no way. Pozos will not let him go. He's under contract, so he's going nowhere. Yeah, people need to get their facts right when they say we sack managers. We don't sack them willy-nilly. West Brom. I used to believe Pulis was going to do something beautiful. But selling our players, now winning a game is like a miracle. Like a miracle. Oh, it's been a hell of a ride. Not sure how Albion survived. Giving the Sackleys, let him go. Cutis give up now, now, now. Cutis give up now, now, now. We all hate you. We all hate you. Come on, you baggies. West Brom will be better off without Pulis, is it? So I guess that haircut wasn't the thing that young man was most wrong about. West Ham. Can't even be bothered to f***ing give us a shirt. They don't f***ing pay for the f***ing shirts. They could give us their f***ing underpants, their f***ing shirts, their f***ing shorts, their f***ing socks, right? Never seen someone so angry and not been given Mark Noble's shirt. I'm f***ing f*** off. Oh, kicking off. I want every f***ing shirt next time I come here. They come here and they go, there he is, full kit wanker. Give him a f***ing shirt. I mean, you know when you've got the lad in the middle laughing at you? We couldn't score against Astro Go-Go! Then you might need to have a breather. Anyway, that is the end of the video, lads. That was... That was a bit of a strange one, I think. But sure, look, that was just a bit of a laugh. One thing I do actually love about football is that we do all have different opinions and we express them in very different ways. Every fan channel I put in there, I actually do respect the work you do a lot. And the ones I featured in the video, I'm gonna put a link to all of your uh, channels in the description below. Check them out, they're really good. They're, I wouldn't include them otherwise. Anyway, anyway, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, give it a share and a subscribe and don't forget the bell button. And as always, I'll talk to you in a while.